It's almost impossible to imagine the vast distances at play when picturing the size of our solar system, and especially the distances to the neighboring stars. Our brains are quite good at dealing with medium-sized objects in distances like buildings, city blocks, and even entire cities. But when someone says that Pluto is 7.3 billion kilometers away, what does that really look like? In order to get a sense of the immense scale of our solar system and the distances between the planets, let's build a scale model in a city so we have some common reference points for judging the relative distances. We'll start in an American football field with the sun placed at the 50-yard line and scaled to the size of a 44-centimeter beach ball. At this scale, Earth and Venus are the size of a small stud earring, only 4 millimeters in diameter. Jupiter is about the size of a golf ball. Uranus and Neptune are the size of a small marble. And our Moon and Pluto are closer to the size of a round candy sprinkle only one millimeter in diameter. Now let's put them in their proper locations based on their aphelions, or their farthest distances from the Sun. We'll find Mercury near the 26 yard line, or 22 meters from the Sun. That's equal to about 70 million kilometers at actual scale. Venus will be near the 12 yard line, 34 meters from the Sun. Earth can be found inside the end zone at 48 meters from our beach ball sun. And our little candy sprinkle sized moon is about 13 centimeters from the earring sized Earth. To find Mars, we'll have to get up to the middle of the lower seating section, about 80 meters from the sun. At this scale, Mars is about two millimeters in diameter as you can see compared to this bottle cap. After Mars, the distances start to increase rapidly. To get to Jupiter, we'll have to head out 260 meters or 850 feet, which is halfway into the parking lot. Saturn will take us all the way through the parking lot and to the edge of the first block of the city, or 480 meters from the Sun. Uranus is over five city blocks past the parking lot. That's 950 meters from the center of the stadium. Our small marble-sized Neptune takes us right to the edge of our model city, almost 10 blocks from the parking lot and 1.43 kilometers or 0.89 miles from the sun. Now we'll make our way to little dwarf planet Pluto, nearly 10 football fields past Neptune. Fun fact, in this part of the animation, we're currently traveling at a scale speed of nearly 600 times the speed of light. Pluto, here less than one millimeter in diameter, is well beyond the city and across the bridge at over 2.3 kilometers or 1.4 miles from the center of the stadium. That's what 7.3 billion kilometers looks like when our entire planet is scaled down to a mere four millimeters. Now how far away do you think the nearest star would be at this scale? If our beach ball sun was in Yankee Stadium in New York City, our entire solar system would be contained within a 2-3 to three kilometer radius between Harlem and the Bronx. At this scale, here is where Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to our sun, would be found. Not yet. even farther. The nearest star would be past Mumbai, India at about 12,690 kilometers away. If we ever want to explore the neighboring star systems, I think we're going to need some faster ships. Now that you've got a sense of the scale of our solar system, 
Why not check out our video about the Hubble Deep Field images and the size of the universe by clicking here or in the description below. If this is your first time on our channel, I hope you'll subscribe to catch more of our upcoming science videos. And if you have young children, you can also check out our educational videos for preschool kids. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.